Let's talk about something that most people have no idea about, how your muscles can actually take up glucose without insulin. That's right. I'm John, your Carnivore Teacher Alpha, and that's our topic for today. You don't always need insulin to move glucose into your cells. Your muscles can do it on their own but only if you use them. This is one of the most powerful reasons why exercise and resistance training and movement are so critical for health, especially metabolic health. Here's how it works. Normally when you eat carbohydrates, your blood sugar rises. That signals your pancreas to release insulin, a hormone that acts like a key, unlocking your cells so glucose can enter and be used for energy. But when you're sedentary, when you sit all day, your muscles don't need much energy and they start to ignore insulin. That's what we call insulin resistance, the body's way of saying, I don't need that much fuel. Over time, blood sugar stays high, insulin stays high, and metabolism starts to break down. But here's the good news. When you exercise, especially when you lift weights or do intense resistance work, your muscles open a whole new pathway for glucose uptake, one that's completely independent of insulin. When you contract a muscle, when you push, pull, squat, curl, or sprint, your body activates GLUT4 transporters inside the muscle cells. These tiny transporters move to the cell surface and pull glucose in without needing insulin's signal. It's like your muscles create their own door one that opens automatically when you move. That means when you work out, you're lowering your blood sugar naturally, without medication, without insulin, and without even needing to eat carbs. Now, your blood sugar may spike during that exercise because your body senses it needs the energy, and endogenously your body makes more, but after your body has taken up that glucose and your blood sugar drops. You're burning stored glucose, improving insulin sensitivity, and training your body to become metabolically flexible. This is why muscle is metabolic gold. It's your largest glucose sink, the biggest storage unit on your body for energy. The more muscle you have, the more glucose you can handle, and the less likely you are to develop insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes. When you stop moving, your muscles stop working for you. But when you challenge them, when you lift, push, pull, you turn them into powerful glucose-absorbing engines. And this happens even after the workout is over. For hours afterwards, your muscles stay insulin-sensitive, meaning they keep pulling in glucose efficiently with less hormonal effect. That's why daily movement is medicine. It's not just about building biceps, it's about training your cells to communicate properly. On the carnivore diet, this effect becomes even more powerful because you're not flooding your body with carbs, your insulin levels stay low and stable. So when you train, your body becomes even better at managing the small amounts of glucose that naturally circulate. You're running on fat and ketones most of the time, but your muscles are always ready to absorb and use glucose when needed. That's true metabolic flexibility. And it all starts with movement. So the next time you think of exercise as just burning calories, think bigger. You're retraining your metabolism. You're teaching your body how to function properly again. You're giving it back the ability to process energy efficiently with no spikes, no crashes, and no dependency. Muscle is not just for strength or looks. It's medicine, it's longevity, and it's metabolic armor. And you don't need insulin for it to work. You just need to move. If you found this insightful, helpful, click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave questions or comments or suggestions, share this video, check out my books in the show notes on Amazon, and thank you for coming and watching my video. I hope you watch the next one tomorrow. I invite you. Have a good day.